Hi guys, it's Borix, and hello, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. Sorry guys, just found out about dolls today. Today guys, we're going to be doing, I know I've been meaning to finish up all the most handsomest Metal Live videos. And I'm finally getting around to it. I am going to be filming where I can where I compare all of the, all the lists, the top ones from my last five lists. I did under 30. I did 30. Over 35. I did under 25, over 25, over 30, and over 40 guys. But there's, I don't understand though because I did, I did five of them. I did over, I did, yeah, I did over, I did over 20, under 25, over 25, over 30, over 35, over 40. So I did five of them. And it is just the top people that, in my opinion, are are the most, at least this go around, the most handsomest from this list. Guys, I want to click a little disclaimer before you even get into the video filming. Is that please keep in mind, this is my opinion. Marital status does not count. I don't care about that. Their sexual orientation does not matter. These videos are just purely for fun. The only, the only person's sexual orientation these videos have squat to do with is my own. And that is the reason why we don't flip this crap and do most beautiful women alive in Hollywood. Because I'm not attracted to women. But further ado, guys, it is long to be... Let's get into it. So, guys... Oh, I didn't pick a number one from this list, guys. Hold on. That one, it crossed off. Because I put the wrong Spencer. <laughs> um, mm, I still say. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, tied. Um, hold on, guys. Um, I don't know who the number one most handsome on the whole list. We well, you know what? Yes, I am. I I know who I think the most handsome is. Period. So, okay, guys. So one is Ben Barnes. August nineteenth, August nineteenth, nineteen eighty one. Birthday. So he's like forty. He's four as I if I'm. He, he'll be like 40 or something. Yeah, he's 43. Most guys, he's 42. Guys, to me, Ben Barnes is a very handsome man. I almost put Ben Barnes as number one on this list. There's, like I said in the other videos, there's just something about Ben Barnes's appeal that he's a very gorgeous man. I mean, <laughs> I date him in a heartbeat, but that's just me. So guys, like I said, there's no, there's not this video just for fun. If you don't want to sit and watch me rank every actor, singer, producer, I think it's attractive in the whole world, which, mind you guys, there are people I forgot to put on the list. I know. Number two, I forgot to even put on the list. <laughs> this is just for fun, though. Two, Haley Joel Osmond, born April 10th, 1988. Haley Joel Osmond, guys, was like my childhood love of my life. If you guys don't know me, yeah, I loved Haley Joel Osmond. I had a huge crush on him since I was like, oh no, since I was six. But Haley is, I guess, I'm really important to me. Little important to little me who loved Haley and would get upset and people would make fun of him because I actually got bullied over Haley Joel Osment, guys. But I think I'm not even saying what these actors do. So I guess Ben Barnes this is another Ben on this list. Played in Narnia. His most recent the most the most known role is Cassidy and most recent role I wouldn't know. I'm not familiar. Haley Joel Osment played David in the sixth sense. I believe that was the character's name. I hope you noticed that before I research it. He played a little boy in In oh, hold on, guys, I'm mind skipping. Sorry, guys, Six Sense. He played. I can't repeat the line because I'm in legal trouble. He played in Pay It Forward as well as the little son in Pay It Forward. I loved it. Teach you guys, actually, I want to do a whole video separate on what my class seen Pay It Forward. Three, Ben Platt, born December 24th, 1993. Ben Platt, guys, is a stage theater actor. I think Ben's very handsome. Um, I did do a video. Let's talk about Ben Platt. I'm in the process of filming a celebrity crush story about him, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I don't feel like I really know that much that I could do to do a video on him. He's got two older brothers. He's really hot. He, he seems in some of the, sh the movies and shows. I don't pay attention to what Ben does too much. To be honest, guys, um, how I discovered Ben Platt, the whole world probably heard of Ben Platt before me. 
I actually only just heard of Ben Platt um, back in November. I'd never heard of him before that. If you guys are new to my channel, I am. It is the craziest thing. I'm no, sorry, guys. I'm super crazy. It's not fair to say that the way. I am Ben Platt's type of Beyonce's biggest fangirl. I saw that cutie and went nuts. And I was like, oh, he is handsome. So that's how I heard about Ben Platt. Is I actually started out being Team Noah. And I'm kind of switching to Ben now. Which is, oh my gosh. Good to everybody around me. But yes, um, was I jealous of Ben Platt? Come on, he's marrying Noah Galvin. Of course I was. <laughs> I love Noah Galvin. Would I, guys, I even said, what I wouldn't do to... And you guys notice, Noah, spoiler alert, isn't even on this list. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Noah. <laughs> anyway, Ben is really handsome. I mean, he looks like a young Chandler Massey in some pictures. Like, mm -hmm, he's cutie pie. You guys, we got plenty more people to talk about. Um, Why well, debate you put was one? Four, I, I just, that's why I figured I put... Spencer Borkson on the list because you guys don't know me. I love Spencer Borkson. <laughs> I, I I have to clarify this in every video because it has been questioned, and I'm assuming that Supernatural fans, the fellow Supernatural fans, are, are questioning whether my name actually is Borkson, unless I just stole his name and started calling myself that. No, guys, I was Borkson long before Spencer. So well, maybe not. I mean, yeah, I'm two years older than him, definitely was. So the same way and everything, but I'm it's a coincidence. Spencer Borkson played young Dean in Supernatural for a holy second. Like if you blink almost at the very end, you could almost miss Spencer Borkson's portrayal. But I did not miss. I actually just wanted to spoil the ending for myself. Seeing it, I was like, why does that look familiar? And then when I googled him, I realized he's the underwear boy I was looking at on the internet. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't have a crush on another witch. <laughs> Another point in time, guys. But anyway, yes. He played in XXXX Miss or something like that. Not confused with Noah Galvin's song. He was in Clammy Jane more recently, but I haven't seen any of Spencer's work. But he's, um, <laughs> guys, I don't put anything weird. My dad actually, he doesn't think Spencer is all that great. <laughs> he actually said that Spencer Borkson in certain lighting looks like my brother. And that was like, bye, I can't love Spencer no more. <laughs> With dark hair, of course, because you guys, I, I like to get what my brother looks like. My dad said that um, Spencer Borkson kind of looks like one of my brothers, which is like, that is gross, dad. That's my husband. Don't say that. <laughs> Not really. Another guy. Guys, five, fifth and final, Chandler Riggs. I know, I'm getting bullied over him. I don't think he needs any expression. That located from The Walking Dead that played Carl. And I actually wanted to do a more deep dive into the Carl Grimes character. Because there's so much that I think and I want to put out there that I don't want to get in legal trouble for. Because I had a very poor opinion of him when I first seen him. Guys, gotta remember, there's a seven-year age gap between me and Chandler Riggs. So, of course, I wasn't interested in him at first. I was hoping an 18-year-old is interested in an 11-year-old. <laughs> I was 18 when The Walking Dead appeared. And I, and I wasn't, it wasn't my cup of tea. I was like, this is now. <laughs> the only reason I got into it was, like I said before, my neighbor Jack, the street, who is probably likes men, okay, was into Andrew Lincoln. He was posting pictures of Chandler Riggs, and I got really jealous. Like, I didn't like Chandler Riggs at that point. I was jealous because I was like, why is Chandler Riggs? Who's this Chandler Riggs and why is he getting attention from my crush and I'm not? Like, it was such a childhood thing. Guys, I put the show on. They had it on the channel. Me and Dad watched for a little while and we were looking at each other like, this is silly. Like, what the heck? Dad's looking at, Dad. Dad's looking at me and we're like, this is our cup of tea. I found out Jake liked it. So I gave the show another watch and actually enjoyed it when I watched it from the pilot. So, I get bullied a lot because of Chandler Riggs. I get called a, words I can't say on the internet, a, words I can't say on the internet, words I can't say on the internet, a woman who likes younger fellas. And I'm like, I actually don't. But guys, a fun fact, it has nothing more personal than me, not Chandler Riggs. Is I actually tried to date a guy named Chandler once, and it did not go over good. That chubby guy was like, <laughs> and I never met a chubby guy named Chandler before, so I wasn't taken in. I was like, <laughs> Guys, the worst decision of my life, but that's a video for a later day. Okay, guys, I'm going to comment, like, share, subscribe. And I want to say something right now, guys. If you use any mean comments, I will be turning comments off, and those comments will be reported. Turn it out. Like, I don't want to be called any weird names. 
I also got made fun of for the guy, which is not on this list because I couldn't get anyone get bullied over him again. From um, Legacies and from the Goldbergs. <laughs> but okay, guys, so my next uploaded video, I'm going to take doll content, makeup, hair, nails, piercings. This is definitely going to be boy talks like this. Bye, guys.